Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're receiving this error that is security violation e anti cheat service encountered an error. Please restart the game. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to relaunch the game. So close the game, start the game once again. If that does not work, restart your computer and then launch the game once again. Sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. Next step is to update e anti cheat. Now for this, go to the game installation folder. So if the game installed in C drive, uh, you can open C drive. If you have the game on EA app, open program files and then open EA games. Now open EA sports FC 25 and then open the installer folder and now open EA anti cheat folder. Over here you will see EA anti cheat installer. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files and then open the installer e anti cheat e anti cheat installer make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now over here from the drop down you have to select fc25 if you see fc25 select fc25 if you don't see fc25 select fc24 and then click on update now once update is success now you can go to fc25 and first of all try to update e anti cheat so select fc25 and then click on update and once the update is success now you can launch the game and then check still not working next step is to repair e anti cheat now to repair it again you have to select fc25 from here and then click on repair click on ok now go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive. If you have the game on EA app, then open program files. If you have the game on Steam, then open program files x86. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, common folder, select the game and then click on select folder. If you have the game on Steam, if you have the game on EA app, then open program files and then open EA games select the game folder you have to select the same uh, you have to select the game folder and once you select it click on select folder and let the repair complete it's repairing now and here you can see install success it's done now you can check still not working next step is to uninstall and reinstall EA anti chain then again go and select FC 25 from the list if you don't see FC 25, as I've shown you before, you have to select FC 24 and then update it and then you will see FC 25. Select FC 25 and then click on uninstall. Now once the uninstall is done, now click on install. Now once install is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, again you have to select FC 25 and this time uninstall it. After uninstall, do not install. Close this and then you can launch the game and when you launch the game during the launch it will install e anti cheat now if you receive a prompt click on yes to allow and here you can see during the launch it will install e anti cheat and then you should be able to launch the game now still not working the next step is to Close e app and Steam. If you have the game on Steam, go to Steam, close it. If you have the game on e app, go to e app and then close e app. Now, once you close e app, Steam or Epic Games Launcher, wherever you have the game, uninstall e anti cheat for FC25. So again, you have to go to the game installation folder, run this e anti cheat, click on yes, and this time. So select FC24 if FC25 is missing, update it. And once the update is complete, it will launch it once again. And then you will see FC25, select FC25 and then click on uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is done, close this. Do not install it. Now you go to EA website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to EA website. 
Now on this website, scroll down and here you can see download the EA Anti-Cheat Installer. Click on it and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Click on it. Click on yes to allow. And then you have to select FC25. If you see FC25, select FC25. If you see, you will see FC25. Now click on install. Now once the install is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to, if you have any other anti-cheat services, like face it anti cheat or any kind of any other anti cheat you have installed in your computer you can first of all close it from the task manager and the service if the service is running and that service in task manager and then you can uninstall that anti cheat and then launch the game after you uninstall it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to enable secure boot make sure your secure boot in the system secure boot is enabled in system BIOS. So you can, for this, you can shut down your computer, start your computer and immediately keep on tapping the BIOS key. It may be F2, F10, F11 as per your brand. So the BIOS key may differ for different brand. So start your computer, keep on tapping the BIOS key. Once you are in the system BIOS, enable the secure boot in BIOS. Now, before you do this, contact your system manufacturer if you don't know how to do it. Contact system manufacturer before making changes as this may lead to no boot issue only. So you might not be able to boot the computer. So just contact your system manufacturer if you're not able to do it. And you can even go to this Microsoft website and you will get some knowledge about secure boot. So you can go through this and here you can see different, and there are different brands and the steps are provided how to enable the secure boot uh, on Dell computer on here you can see on Lenovo computer how to enable it so you can go through this now the next step is to run EA app or Steam as an administrator so if you have the EA app close EA app if you have the game on EA app exit if you have the game on Steam close Steam exit and then if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on Steam and then open Steam as an administrator and then check. If you have the game on EA app, you have to launch EA app as an administrator. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator and then check. Next step is to launch the game as an administrator. Now for this, wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then make a right click on the game exe file, select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check next step is to now this is for steam users try launching the game from ea app so you can close steam close steam and then open ea app launch the game from ea app now the next step is to repair or verify the game files now for this if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. If you have the game on EA app, in that case, go to the EA app and then click on this manage option. You will see the repair option. My In my case, I don't have the repair option because it is linked to Steam. You will see the repair option, repair it and then launch the game. Now. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So whichever antivirus program you're using. So if you're using Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program, or you can allow the exe file as well as the complete game folder to the exception list of the antivirus program. I'm not using any third party antivirus, so I cannot show you. I'm using Windows security. So if you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11 in Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom. You will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. So go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file. Then click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app. Browse all apps. Select this trial one. Open again, click on add and loud app browser apps. Select this EA anti cheat game service launcher. 
open now do the same thing in control panel so type in control panel in windows at box go to control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app and then click on browse go to the game installation folder select all the exe file fc25 open add in my case it is already added again click on browse select this trial one open add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse select this launcher service launcher open add in my case everything is already added now once you have the game added over here now you can launch the game and then check now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so you can just make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game and do the same thing on e app click on manage you will see the uninstall uninstall it go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then launch the game reinstall the game and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error and you should be able to launch the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.